Hades 2. Hades 2, let's go. Did you play the first one? I did play the first one, yeah. Did okay, you play the cool, first one? cool. So I played it today. <laughs> <laughs> did you? I played it today for this podcast. So I want to go preface this by saying I okay. had no idea what this game was. And to be honest, I went in there, died. Or, so I got in there, I got a couple like doors in, and, and I died. And I'm like, oh, okay, like, I'll be right back at the store. Yep. Nope. Starts nope. you over. And I like I was like, why did it did not save? And I went in again, died again. I was like, what the heck is going on? It's not <laughs> saving. Like I was getting upset. And then I finally, like the fourth attempt that I went in there, I was like, oh, it's a roguelike. It's a roguelike. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I had no idea. Like I like literally, so it's in my friend's Steam store. And I was like, oh, I just want to check it out and see what it is. So I downloaded it, played it, and I had no idea what the game was. And I was like, yeah. But it's super cool. Like I do like, like the, it? the concept. Yeah, I do. And I <sighs> was enjoying the the concept of it. I will say it's not my typical type of game, like the 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 hack and slash like spamming buttons. It's not my yep. typical type of game, but it's a cool mechanic to like a roguelike in that kind of fan fashion. Yeah. I thought it was kind of neat. So Yeah. So guys, if you never played the original Hades, Hades is a uh, game, you know, based on Greek mythology, which mm -hmm. as a lore junkie it gets no better than that for me, I right? I love <laughs> Greek mythology. That's I, like, yeah. in terms of like English class, anytime we talked about Greek mythology, that's when I actually paid attention and yeah. I always got like A's on that <laughs> stuff, but C's, D's, and sometimes F's and like the other the other stuff that we talk about. So, yeah. But I, the, I love Greek mythology. The stories are so creative, man. And, mm -hmm. if, and if you love Greek mythology, um, you're going to love this game. Uh, mm -hmm. they, they stick to the stories really, really well. So that if yep. you know anything about Greek mythology, you're going to get the story that you expect to get. And then yep. on, on the same term, if you don't know anything about Greek mythology, you're going to get some really cool stories to listen to. And all, all of these characters in this game, like have their own lore to like the amount of lore that you can get into just getting through all of these characters. Yep. is just absolutely insane. Um, but yeah, let's let's take a quick peek at the trailer. Yeah, Whoop. and this is the only trailer that really they have on Hades two, which came out in last year. Yeah, so another 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 game that uh, has been held up for a little yep. bit. I will say yep. it's been held up. Um, but yeah, another game that's getting hot right now to talk about, and we'll talk about why that is uh, yeah. a little bit later but right right now what we're looking at is so you're not going to be playing a zag um yep. in in the first game that you know you played a zag that was your main character uh in this game you're actually Melanoi. going to, yeah you're playing as melanoy and melanoy is the goddess of the underworld and if you know um her story a little bit she's associated with um nightmares like madness like lost souls mm -hmm. so i think this is going to be kind of a darker version and what we're looking at right now is um i forget her i forget her name in the lore but this witch is yeah. going to this witch is going to be like her mentor yeah um so basically i think you're gonna get like a little we're gonna get like a little bit more magic-y vibes instead yep. of like spamming weapons in this one and i'm kind of excited for that but yeah. i love like I just love this style. Like the whole yep. art style is incredible. The it's art got style that, is very good. Yeah, the art the art style is just amazing. And again, this was a small. This is a small studio. Um, mm -hmm. Super Giant is another. This was another indie title that kind of came out of nowhere. Um, and it's got that kind of Diablo esque kind of yeah. corner camera vibe. Yep. Um, and it, I, I just the game's amazing. It's a it's a yeah. rogue like like Adam said. Um, basically, you know, in the first game, you were kind of like trying to escape the depths of hell, right? And it's yep. like because you were this, you know, dead undead character. Anytime you mm -hmm. died, there was nowhere else for you to go. You know what I mean? Right. So you just always kept restarting back. Um, but yeah, it's it should be super super cool. I'm super excited for it. And they added a bunch of new stuff, mm -hmm. which we'll get into that. And the, I think the main villain is the. Uh, Titan of the time. I can't remember his name. Is it Kronos? Kronos. I think it's Kronos is his I name. I think is the it main is. Villain yeah. in this, this. And uh, it's going to be really cool. So like you said, it's it's a dungeon crawl, like roguelike game. 
Um, yep. a sequ- it's a sequel to the first one. Um, but from what I read or what I saw is like you don't have to play the first one to play this, which is really cool. I like games that if you want a new player base, like you don't always have to go back to the, the original storyline and whatnot. Right. Um, I think that's pretty cool and it's going to make me play this game. And uh, yeah, and like you said, it's infused with ancient magic. Weapons are going to be infused with ancient magic. Um, and there's going to be like even more gods in the game. I think they said there's at least 12 in the game. So that's kind of yes. cool. Yes. Yeah, at least twelve. Um, I do, you know, like I said, it's I I do believe it's gonna be more magic. And then, like mm-hmm. Adam said, also, um, this is a game where they've taken they've taken the things that we've loved from what it looks like. They've taken the things that we loved from the first game, which is the art style, the combat style, um, you know, like all of the power ups, all of like the weapon upgrades, and all the all of those mechanics, all the things that made the first game great. But they've moved on from the storyline. So it's mm-hmm. a game that if you've played the first game, the second game is going to be exactly what you expected with a brand new storyline. Mm-hmm. And if you never played the first game, it's not like there's going to be a huge learning curve. To, right. It's not It's not like you're going to be lost. Like You could jump in and play Hades 2 without ever playing Hades 1 and be totally fine. As long as you know what kind of game it is going into it. As long as you know what type of game <laughs> it is Which it's a roguelike. It. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which that's so it, funny i had no idea but yeah i was and, i was enjoying myself once i finally figured out what i was doing i was like oh wow i got farther wow i got farther so yeah that was kind of cool but yeah because you know like the concept of the game was always like you know that they, they, they didn't want to fault you too much for dying because like you you were gonna die but yeah. like like any roguelikes the the more you do it and the more you go through and the, like the further you get in the levels and the more upgrades and things that you find you start becoming way more powerful right so yeah now, and you become like a bot like a, yeah. a like a god essentially like in the game yeah. you're a god so yeah essentially you become a god and it's like you know roguelikes are are really hard to in the beginning and then once you kind of get it it just kind of like clicks and mm-hmm. that's why i feel like maybe some people some people probably grabbed this game, played it for, you know, like an hour and was like, nah, it's not for me. Yeah. I'm not good yeah. at it. I don't want to play. Yeah. This is stupid. Yeah. Yeah. I see what you're and I, I would, I would say to those people, you know, keep going, keep going a little bit more yeah. and, and, and just give it a try because it's supposed to be hard. It's, it's supposed to be grindy and you're supposed to die a lot in the beginning. Um, but you know, like, it, it's almost like a blood like i hate to say it but it's almost like a bloodborne like a dark souls something like that but like in the Keep beginning you in your, yeah in your in your in the beginning you suck right so it's it's actually you know the the further that you go the better that you get and mm-hmm. um yeah i would say if you if you gave it like a little bit of a chance and just kind of threw it away um definitely definitely go back to it and give it a chance cuz Hades 2 should be sick yeah and i did i i did just I was so close to say, oh, I gave it a chance. It's not for me. And then I was like, you know what? Let me keep playing. Let me see what this game is about. And I was enjoying myself, even though like I was dying a lot, like you said. But it was cool to see like you could still level up things even if you die. Like you, you find the coins, yeah. you like this the the keys, you can unlock other weapons, the the different uh currencies that you can buy to upgrade your character. Like you're still upgrading your character, but the run is what is what's cool about the game. So, yeah. And I think they did a really great job at that is like, you know, there's a lot of like, (laughs) there's, there's a lot of roguelikes that are, you know, you could do an entire run for like an hour. And if you die, like that really sucks. Yeah, Yeah. That's it. Like it really sucks. Like you've accomplished nothing. And I think what Hades did great was like making it so that, you know, like you said, there's, you know, there's upgrades that you can get that are specifically Permanent. for the run and then there's yeah. perma upgrades. So it's, it's like, you know, you might run for 45 minutes and then you die, but you know, it's not a total, it's not a total waste. You know what I mean? Right. Like you, right. you've done something to your character and I think they did a great job with that. And they really did a great job with like, um, the character interaction. Right. So yep. I, I did like a ton of runs. I had to have done like hundreds of runs when I played this game. And of the one thing I will say is like their NPC dialogue. I didn't run into like duplicate dialogue on the NPCs Mm-mm. nearly ever, which was crazy because I'm literally yeah. dropping in doing hundreds of runs <laughs> and talking to all these characters. Yeah. And it's like, how can they keep track of like not having all of this dialogue? Yeah. And like, yeah, it's pretty That's cool. cool. Yeah, it's I a agree. cool, cool game. Um, the reason, the reason why I bring this one up again, 
I do think that this one, this so this one, the release date has been pushed for a little bit, but mm-hmm. I do think we are getting Hades 2 early 2024. I was going to say, so they promised an early access, and I do, like they said early access 2023, and that never came. That never uh, came. Um, so that makes me wonder, like you said, is it going to be early access towards the end of the year and then early 24 release? I hope so, because I'm going to play this game much more now that I know what it is and understand the mechanics of the game. And yeah. I hope it comes sooner rather than later, <laughs> as long as it's a finished game. But um, yeah. it's super cool. So. So again, going back, and this is a lot like Hollow Knight. Um, you know, there's a re- I feel like you know from a marketing standpoint, there's a reason that this game is hot again. There's a reason why people are talking about this game. Um, they've been working on this game since 2021. Mm-hmm. So right, you know, 2024 is right around the time where we should be we should be seeing the finished product. Yeah. Um, and I do th- I do think we're getting a release early uh, 2024, and. There's supposed to be the early access, like Adam talked about. The early access is PC only, and the early access is through Steam. So the best thing that you guys can do right now is add Hades 2 to your Steam account wish list, mm-hmm. and then you'll get the notification. You'll be the you'll be one of the first to get the notification. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So that's that's the advice that I have for you guys right now. Is if you're a PC player, Steam account, go. Go over to your Steam account, add a Hades 2 <laughs> to your wish list, and you'll get the notification on the early access before anybody will. Um, cool. But like I said, Hades 2 should be awesome. I'm super excited for it. I can't wait for it to come out. It should be a great game. Um, yeah. yeah, and hopefully we are getting it very, very soon. 